You feel when you know that someone is praying and interceding for you every day. That is how we hold our partners with high esteem, standing in the gap and praying for you without season. NDTV is God's plan to transform lives and help people to get their freedom from every form of oppression, walk in victory, discover their original destiny and the plan of God for them. Together, we can do far more than any of us could ever do alone. Become a partner today. By visiting www.ndtvn.com slash partnership and you will be glad you did. once again to bring to you the word of God, the word of power, the word of healing, the word of faith, the word of prosperity, the word of deliverance, the word of restoration, the word of signs and wonders. Thank you, Jesus. Or whenever the word of God comes forth, it comes with power, it comes with signs, it comes with wonders. It comes with miracles. Thank you, Lord. So it's my pleasure to bring to you today God's word that has the power to deliver. God's word has the power to heal. God's word that has the power to liberate destinies and deliver the oppressed. God's word is powerful. The word of the Lord is might, is powerful. Hallelujah. Glory. And we give God the praise. And we give God the honor for the awesome things He has been doing through this platform. And we we'll return all the praise to Him. Once again, thank you for joining me. This is your program, The Supernatural Encounter. And I remain your host, Sam Musu. Quickly, let's pray. Father, Lord, we release grace on this broadcast today. In the name of Jesus, let every life that we tune in from all over the world, let, the, let your blessing reach out to them. Send everyone a timely word, a word that they need in this season. And let every expectation be met by your power. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Once again, thank you for being part of this broadcast. Hallelujah. Thank you. Uh, quickly, I want to release grace upon everyone watching me right now. I'm releasing grace for exploit. Grace to do kingdom exploit. The anointing to do kingdom exploit. Great faith for kingdom exploit. The unction to function in every area of your calling or everything you have been called to do. I release grace right now 
on every family, every household, every children, and every man and woman watching right now. I release on, on you grace to do exploit, grace to stand out from the crowd. And if that is you, I want you to agree with me. I want your amen to agree with me. Hallelujah. Grace to stand out from the crowd. Grace to make impact from your immediate family to your community, to your city, to your state, to your nation, to your continent, and to the world at large. I agree with you right now for a fresh grace. Grace to do exploit, kingdom exploit. Grace to, to, that will enable you to take your faith to the marketplace and do exploit. Hallelujah. I release on you this today grace and the faith that will enable you to go out there and make your world a better place. Faith, grace, and the anointing that will enable you to go out there and make marriages work. That may be that will make you to go out there and see how to make other like widows, orphans, let privileges, communities better. Grace to go out there and see how to make our soup system work. Grace to go out there and see how to make our leadership system work all over the world. So I release on you today grace for kingdom exploit. And surely you will do exploit in the name of Jesus. I mean you, surely you will do exploit. So say to yourself, I receive the faith for kingdom exploit. I receive the faith. I receive the grace for exploit in every areas of my life. I receive the grace for exploit, the grace to do exploit. I receive the anointing, the unction, the opportunity to do exploit all over the world from my community i receive that grace right now for kingdom exploit grace for signs and wonders and for miracles in the name of jesus christ thank you lord in jesus mighty name hallelujah once again i want to appreciate your time for being part of this special program the supernatural encounter Quickly, uh, we come to the all right call. We are still on, on our faith adventure. And uh, today I'm talking about kingdom exploit through faith. Accomplishing the impossible task through faith. Mm, accomplishing the impossible. What looked impossible to men. What may have looked impossible to others. Or possibly the things, the achievements. Mm, they, that has, might have looked impossible to the previous generation. Because today we are under the grace, under a new covenant, covenant of grace, for the sake of the price that Christ has paid for you and I on the cross. So now you have what it takes to put your faith on the ground and put your faith in God's word and use that faith to do exploit in your career, exploit in your finances, exploit in your marriage, exploit in your community, exploit in every areas of your life. You have what it takes right now. You all you need to grab is your faith. Faith in God's word and faith in God. Not faith in your ability, not faith in your strength, no faith in your academic accolades, no faith in your degree of master or whatever. Those things are good. I'm not against them. But there's something that's more important than that. It's for you to have faith in God and His Word and believe Him for what He can do. And I defined faith yesterday in a simple time. Faith is to hold on to God's Word. Believe it. Whether it makes sense to you or not, it doesn't matter. You just believe God's word, hold on to it, declare it, and take action. And take action, because faith must go with corresponding action. 
faith without work is dead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I see your faith coming higher. So, kingdom exploit, business exploit, financial exploit, spiritual exploit, exploit in your community, exploit in your city, exploit in your state, exploit in your ministry. Can it is possible? Can be done through or through faith. If you can activate uh, what I call your faith. Thank you, Jesus. In no matter the field you are called to be, you are in the medical field, you are in wherever it is, whatever area you are, God has called you to. That is your own. And you are an engineer, wherever it is, wherever it's your own technology, any area you have been called to, that is your own. You can use the same faith and do exploit in your area of calling. Hallelujah. It's not until when you become a pastor or you become an evangelist. No. Faith can do exploit even in the marketplace. Hallelujah. Things, the contracts, the opportunities, the businesses that others are struggling to get when you, in, when you invoke your faith, when you develop your faith, when you grow your faith, when you make a move of faith, those things that others, unbelievers, hallelujah, are struggling to achieve, you can get them with ease through faith. Hallelujah. And don't forget today, faith does not make things uh, maybe easy, but it makes it possible. It will be possible. It may not be that, oh, I mean, as easy as ABC, but at the end of the day, it will be possible. Because what? Because you put your faith in who? In God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I declare today, I see someone rising from here right now, going out there to do exploit in your business, to do exploit in your office, to do exploits on the job, to do exploits in anywhere you have been called to do in the marketplace because of what? Because of your faith that you are what you are activating right now. Matthew chapter 21. Let me go back to the scripture. Very, very, very important. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 21 from verse 1. Let's look at the scripture and look at it uh, and look at what God can do when you put your faith in Him. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 21. Thank you, Jesus. Ze kalabo shinto zute. Ma libra ze kalabo shinto zuto libra zikaya. I am agreeing with someone today in the name of Jesus Christ that by the mercy of God from henceforth you will become a man of exploit, a woman of exploit. It doesn't matter your age. Hallelujah. It's not by your age. Your age has not to be with it. Doesn't, it's not by the color of your skin. It has nothing to do with this. It all depends on what? On your faith in who? Your faith in God. That is all you need to do exploit. So you can do exploit in the marketplace. You can do exploit, I mean, uh, in, in any way you have been called to. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not that's let me go to Hebrews chapter 11 if I quote that scripture. I won't get that very well. Hebrews chapter 11, looking at some stories of men and women. Who are, are able to use their faith to do exploit, even though and then they are not yet under the covenant of grace, but then they are, they are still under the old covenant. But even with that, they were still able to do exploit. So if, listen very well, if I repeat, if the heroes of faith that we shall read about quickly in Hebrews chapter six. Uh, if they were able to do exploits when they are still under the old covenant, how much more you and I that we are not under a new covenant? So we, we can do much more. Hallelujah. <laughs> we can do much more. Say to yourself, I can do much more. Hallelujah. I can do much more. Say to yourself loud and clear, I can do much more. I can do for my community. I can do for the body of Christ. I can do for my family, I can do for my nation, I can do for my continent, I can do much more than what I am doing right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No force, I repeat, thank you, Jesus. No force from the pit of hell is strong enough to stop you. Thank you, Jesus. Once you put your faith in God, once you put your faith in Him, there may be obstacles, right? Fine. Challenges, sure. 
Like I said, faith does not make it easy, but it makes it possible. Hallelujah. There will be obstacles, challenges, fine. But I repeat, once you stand on your ground and you know the God you are serving, for my Bible says those who do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit, including you. <laughs> yes, those who do know their God, they shall be strong. And they will be able to do exploit. Hallelujah. That's why I know. Whatever you have set your heart to achieve, according to God's will, nothing, no force, can stop you. So the greatest enemy that may stop you, maybe you yourself, you are the one that can stop yourself. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. The only limitation you have is the one you place on yourself. Turn to Jesus. Does that make sense to someone right now? Oh, Libra, Calabo City, Libra, Zika. Yes. The only limitation, I repeat, concerning that examination, that finances, that career, that project that God has given you, the only limitation you have is the one you place on yourself. Those who do know they are God, they shall be strong. And uh, they shall do exploit. You shall do exploit. I see you doing exploit. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are watching right now, whether it's social media or any of our partner network. I see you doing exploit. I mean you. With your name written on it. Yes, I am doing exploit. Thank you, Jesus. Write yourself today a letter. Telling yourself you are now a man and a woman of exploit. This generation will know my words. Aha, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I will stand out from the crowd through faith. I will make great impact in this generation through faith. I refuse to quit. I refuse to give up. I refuse to be in the crowd. I am standing out from the crowd through faith. And I am doing exploit through faith. Making my world a better place through faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Making my world a better place through faith. So faith is not just something you use only in the church. No. Faith, that's why it stands for the body of Christ. It stands for us. It stands for us to go out of our out of the four walls of the church and go out of the four walls of the world of our city and community and make a great impact. In great impact. We have what it takes. You can speak in tongue. You can do it. You can, you can pray. You can read the Bible. Can put scriptures, then why can we make our community a better place? Our nation a better place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we can do better than what we are doing right now. That calling, that ministry, God has given you. You can do better than what you are doing right now. No excuse. I repeat. I mean, no excuse will be good enough. For you not to accomplish that divine task. No matter, I repeat, no matter how impossible that task may look to your flesh, to man. Hallelujah. But it is not impossible for God. Activate your faith today and step out in faith. Make a move of faith. For those who do know their God, they shall do exploit. They shall be strong. They shall make progress. They shall advance. They shall affect their communities. They shall make other life better. They shall feed widows. They shall feed orphans. They shall reach out to the unreached. Oh, Lake Alaba City, Libra Thank you, Jesus. Wow, Lake Calibros, Maskete, Libra Zucaya. I believe this is ministering to someone right now. Yes, someone is watching right now. These days you are feeling a bit weakened, weak and tired. You are you are feeling a bit weak on that assignment that God has given you. You are a bit, you are trying to, to give excuses. Looking at things around you in physical form that nothing is really making sense. Hallelujah. That those things that you are doing or people are not appreciating what you are doing. 
and you are asking yourself, this is a word for someone right now. Am I doing something wrong? Is something going wrong with me? I mean, and so on and so forth. Should I just quit this assignment and go back to what I've been doing before? Before what you are doing before now, you are, you are, you are, you are getting better results. But the Lord says, I should tell you right now, thank you, Jesus. Of course, you heard from him. And you have been asking the Lord, Lord, but I heard from you. I, I, I'm this, I, I heard and I had confirmation from various mouths to establish this decision I have taken. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I should tell you right now, don't quit. Don't give up. All you need to do is to go back to my word. Go back to my word. And begin to challenge me with my word. Because I will still do what I promised to do through you. Hallelujah. I don't know if that's for somebody. If that's for you, make sure you, you confirm that. Hallelujah. Then share that testimony. So if you have gone too far to give up, don't give up on that dream. Don't give up on that divine assignment. You can still do exploit. Hallelujah. So see after me, I am a man of exploit. I am a woman of exploit. Now listen, thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen to me very well. I don't care whatever level you are now or whatever you have achieved in the past. Yes, maybe you have achieved some tangible results. But I'm here to announce to you there are still more grounds to break. Oh yes. There are still more lives to affect. There are still more souls to win into the kingdom. There are still more exploits, areas to exploit and to do great work. So don't look at your achievement as if you have arrived. There is more for you. Hallelujah. There is more in stock for you. There is more God wants to do to, through you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So no matter the level you have, you have arrived now, there is a higher ground for you. Oh my goodness, I'm really enjoying this segment and I believe somebody is being blessed right now. This, this is not what I prepare for at all, but I've always allowed the Holy Ghost to speak through me. But if it is one soul, yes, that is blessed, delivered, true to this, bro to, to, to this program, then heaven is happy, heaven is rejoicing with me. Now for, for millions to tune in and nobody's blessed. So if it's just you, that God is sending a word to, then heaven is happy. As long as that, that, that will make a difference in your life and in everything that you are doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So say to yourself, I am a man of, of exploit. I'm doing exploit. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Let me take from, um, not from verse 1 quickly. Now faith is the substance of things so far, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, look at it. For by it, mark that place in your Bible if you can. For by it, for by what? It, the word by faith, the men of old, the men under the old covenant. Don't forget, as these are the men in the Old Testament. In the men under the old covenant were able to obtain good report. In other words, they were able to do exploit. Yes. They were able to do exploit. So if the men of old, they can able to do exploit, how much more now, like this, you and I, in this generation, under a new covenant, a more powerful covenant, Covenant of grace, then you can do much more. So once again, say to yourself, I can do much more. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. I, 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 this is a word of love for someone right now. I can see a, an impartation of wisdom going on right now on someone. The Lord is releasing you a fresh idea of what you can do, of the more, that more you can do. Of, of course, you have been doing something. But right as I'm speaking right now, I can see the hand of God resting on you mightily. 
that God is giving you a new, a fresh inspiration, is a fresh idea of what you can do. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is releasing on you right now a fresh oil, a fresh grace. And how will you know if it is you I'm talking about? For some time now, there is some restlessness in your spirit. Oh, thank you, Spirit. I love this. Oh, Lee Calabo City, Lee Brazil. There's like a restlessness in your spirit. That's why you are not watching this by accident. That's the truth. You are not watching this by accident. There's a restlessness in your spirit. The Lord has been trying to pass across to you an information, an inspiration. But because God is looking for a platform just to push, to agree with you. So I'm agree with you right now. That that idea God is giving you will be visible to you. The inspiration will be real. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, Maskata, Libro, Sukalabu, City, Libra, Zika. Laku, City, Maskoto, Libra, Sakalabu, City, Libra, Zaka, Libro, Sukaya. Lika, Libro, Soto, Libra, Siki, Libra, Sukalabu, Sukaya. If you can speak in tongue, wherever you are right now, if you can't, just, just speak in tongue. But if you cannot, just say, Lord, I receive a new idea. I receive a new inspiration, pray that prayer. But they can speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak right now because as we speak in the Holy Ghost, uh, they are, they, they, that, that, that idea will be the, the information will be, will be more real and more, more visible uh, to you. Reke Libra so Colibra Maskete Li Calabo Sutaya. La Cusete Maskete Le Kebo Soto La Cusata Mali Grozo Calibra Sutaya. Le Kesete Le Brasso Calaba Soto Maskete. La Cusata La Bro Soto Maskete. Liku soto la broso ke libra sikaya la kasete libra so kalibra soto libra sikaya leke sete maskuto le kalabo soto maskata le kabo soto ma libra zukaya la kusete yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord it's getting clearer to you now it's getting clearer to you right now it's getting clearer to you right now then jesus Christ. now so I'm still on, on still on that revelation to confirm what I'm saying right now. By this time tomorrow, or between now and tomorrow, a time like this tomorrow, someone will either be through a call or through a meeting with someone that will bring up an issue related to what you have received. So, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Thank you, Spirit. Lika Libro Soto Libra Sika. Yes, Lord. Mazika. Yes, somebody will that will be an, 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 one way or the other. It can be coincidental or accidental or whatever for me become, but there will be a meeting, a discussion with someone that's going to bring a similar idea to the table and say, Are you interested in this? Oh, yes, thank you, Mr. There will be some things that will advance the kingdom or that will improve your business or whatever it is that you are, you are doing right now. I don't know what it is, but this is a word for someone. And I pray that this word will make a real difference in your life. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 2. For by it the men of old obtain report. By faith we understand that the universe was framed by the word of God. So even God has to do exploit of creation. Exploit of creation through or through faith. So it takes faith for God to do exploit in what? During creation. Hallelujah. So that the things that were not made out of the things which are visible. By faith we see Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain offered. Through this he was approved as righteous with God, testifying concerning his, his gift. He still speaks through his faith, though he is dead. Hallelujah. Now one thing I know is this. Whenever you get to a level with God, that's something the Lord will do through you, exploit the Lord will do through you. It's not something that will die with you. Even when you are dead, those exploits will still speak, will still be speaking. Those things that God was able to do through you or to use you for will be what will be speaking. Hallelujah. They will still be speaking. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So those kingdom exploits, that God is able to do through you will be what we still be speaking. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 5. By faith, Enoch was taken to heaven so that he would not 
she dead. He was not found because God took him away. But before he was taken, he had this commendation that he pleased God. Verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to do exploit for, for our face. The world is on my own. But for instance, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. But I put it this way. Without faith in God, or in His Word, of course, in God, it is impossible for you to do exploit. You cannot do exploit in your ministry without faith. You cannot do exploit in the marketplace without faith. You cannot do exploit in your community without faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I can hear Holy Spirit give me a different meaning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, faith, we enable you to, 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 to see the obstacles on your way to exploit as a stepping stone. That's what faith will do. And that's what Holy Spirit give me right now. Faith will enable you to see those obstacles as a stepping stone. So what others may see as obstacles, you will see them as a stepping stone to where you are going to for exploit. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So where others are seeing challenges, you are seeing opportunities. That's what faith does. <laughs> oh, le kale brazite libra mascoto libra sakalabu shidozo to libra zikaya. La kusete mascoto libra. So where others are seeing challenges, stopping block, you will begin to see opportunities through the eyes of faith. Yes, you are not walking by sight, but you are walking by faith. Where others are complaining, you are rejoicing, celebrating, because you know that all these work together for them who do love their God. Oh, yes. When people say the economy is not working well, you, through the eyes of faith, you are seeing great opportunities. I believe this world is being a blessing to someone. I'm so excited for what the Lord is doing here right now. Like I said, it is just only you, one soul. That each of my brokers is one, is I mean, is attended to, is ministered to, in a day. So if in in a seven days in a week, I'm able to minister to seven souls, and these seven souls were able to rise up, step out there, and doing exploit. That is awesome. So in a month, we should be raising almost seven times four, 28 exploit. People that will go out there and use the faith. The word of faith, the word of God, we use their prayer, their anointing. We will use everything they've got in the kingdom, their kingdom authority, authority and power to do exploit and make their world a better place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Zekalabu city li brazukaya. And if, the, if need be, as you're watching me right now, you have a great idea, and if need, need be for you to reach out to us at NDTV for us to partner together to make it work, why not? It's all about the kingdom. All I am out to do is all about the kingdom. Everything God has committed into my care, to our care, I and my family and my team, is all about the kingdom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, you can see, without faith, it is impossible to accomplish some task. Sometimes, some task may look unaccomplishable until the force of faith is applied. Yes, I repeat, some task, whatever some things that God has called you to do, may look impossible unaccomplishable until you apply the force of faith. Yes. Until you apply the force of faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Until you apply the force of faith. And I see you doing exploit. 
Joe Free. So, don't forget, quickly before I enter to the, the, uh, the next segment or prayer agreement, don't forget, whatever path you are trying to walk today was someone past. Whatever God has called you to do, someone was once there. And because some of them, they activate the force of faith, you are able to accomplish it. So it's not impossible. Hallelujah. As long as you hear from the law, or it, God give you as an inspiration or an idea, whatever form you were able to receive and you are convinced that, yes, this is God, this thing has, this is God speaking to me. Whatever, one way or the other, can be true confirmation of two or three people. So it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. That task is possible, can be accomplished through the power, the force of faith. You just activate faith. Faith, like I defined yesterday, is a force. It that make things happen. Yes. Once you activate it in the spiritual realm, it's a, it's a spiritual force that calls for those things that were not as though they were. That calls for the unseen, you know, the unseen, the unseen realm, call forth in the manifestation of what, whatever thing you are believing God for. Thank you, Jesus. I see you obtaining good report. So, and without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is impossible to do exploit. It is impossible to stand up on the crowd. The world is full of billions of number of people. For you to stand up on the crowd, you need what? To activate the force of faith. Of faith. Hallelujah. Of faith, I mean, sorry. You need to activate the force of faith for you to do exploit. Hallelujah. Not just in, your, in the church, not just as a pastor, not just as a bishop, not just as a leader, but in every area, economy wise, leadership wise, our education, the educational sector, your community, in our uh, um, any civil defense, any every sector. We need God is looking for men and women that will rise up with an active faith and step out there and begin to do put this in place and begin to turn our community around for good. We have complained enough. It's time for us to step out. Hallelujah. Yes. Believers, we have complained enough. It's time for you and I to step out. Yes, we have complained enough. It's time to step out with true faith and do exploit in the kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. Quickly, I will stop here and then I will, we are going to go into our, another segment of our prayer of agreement. I will continue with this series, Kingdom Exploit True Faith Part 2 tomorrow. Let me go into our prayer of agreement. <music> Thank you. Once again, today, our prayer of agreement, we shall be agreeing on God's word, and then I will be agreeing with you, and we shall be agreeing together. Thank you. Isaiah chapter 62. Isaiah chapter 62. That is where our prayer of agreement will be taken from today. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah chapter 62, I read from verse 1, from, For the sake of, of Zion, I put my name there, for the sake of Sam, I will not keep silence. Hallelujah. You can put your business name, your ministry name, for the sake of New Dimension Evangelical Ministry, for the sake of NDTV Network. You can put your name, your business, your children's name, for the sake of Zion, Isaiah chapter 62. This is our prayer of agreement segment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah chapter 62. I will not keep silence. For the sake of Jerusalem, I will not rest. Until her righteousness goes forth as brightness, 
and her salvation as a lamp that burns. The nation shall see your righteousness. Say to yourself, the nation shall see my righteousness. And all the kings my glory. And I shall be called by a new name. Say to yourself, I shall be called by a new name. You shall be called by a new name. I shall be called by a new name. You shall be called by a new name. Hallelujah. Turn to Jesus Christ. You shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be termed forsaken, nor shall you your land be, be, be termed desolate, for you shall be called my delight is here. And your lunch are married. So that's Isaiah chapter 62, verse 1 to 4. So I want to agree with you right now. We are watching all over the world. Whatever platform you are watching me from, based on that scripture, I want to agree with you in prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be called a new name. Yes, your old names are wiped away. Old names of failure. Old names of rejection. Old names of disappointment, old name of hatred, old name of shame, old name of reproach, old name of failure at the edge of breakthrough, old names of barrenness, they are wiped away. The Lord is giving you a new name. You shall be called a new name. Joy, progress, signs, wonders, miracles, testimony, victory, open door. Increase, exploit, enlargement, a new name, power, a new name, victor, a new name, science and wonders, just name them, breakthroughs, prosperity, that becomes your new identity, your old identity is gone, your old identity of barrenness is gone, and fruitfulness becomes your portion, your old identity of sickness is gone and the healing sound health becomes your portion in the name of Jesus Christ so I agree with you today for a new identity the Lord is putting on you I mean you a new mark a new mark of identity hallelujah a new identity a new identity old man of failure is being wiped away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth if that is you let your amen be louder and let i want you to agree with me as well over this thank you lord jesus your new name is now favor no more disfavor your new name your new identity is now honor in the name of jesus christ for a crown of glory has been given to you in the name of Jesus Christ. A new name is now glory. A new identity is now glory. Whenever you go from henceforth, men will no longer see your struggle. They will no longer see your effort. They shall see nothing but the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. If two of us shall agree on a thing on as touching anything on earth, it shall be accomplished. So I'm agree with you right now. For a new identity, identity of a, of a good job, of, of kingdom exploit, identity of uncommon favor, undeserved favor, identity of open doors identity of victory that henceforth men shall call you and they shall favor you even where you don't even work for what you don't work for in the name of jesus christ and your labor shall be profitable every effort you put in from henceforth shall yield abundant result i declare a new identity of supernatural harvest I put on you a mark of victory that whenever you go from henceforth, whenever your face shall appear, 
you shall be highly honored. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be highly honored. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be highly honored. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see you doing exploit in the kingdom, in the marketplace, in our economy, in your community. I see you making a great impact. In the name of Jesus Christ, if Jesus tarries, it shall be said concerning you, that it shall be written concerning you, that you leave a mark on earth, a mark of kingdom exploit. Thank you, Jesus, and so shall it be. How will you feel when you know that someone is praying and interceding for you every day? That is how we hold our partners with high esteem, standing in the gap and praying for you without season. NDTV is God's plan to transform lives and help people to get their freedom from every form of oppression, walk in victory, discover their original destiny and the plan of God for them. Together, we can do far more than any of us could ever do alone. Become a partner today. By visiting www.ndtvn.com slash partnership and you will be glad you did.